urgent manhunt tonight for the hooded man on that awful tape, standing next to the second American murdered by ISIS, the man with the knife with what sounds like a British accent, executing a second American journalist, Stephen Sotloff. He was just 31. And tonight here, you're about to see some new clues, unintended clues in some of their many videos. And there is an intense focus on one Syrian city, seen right here in this video where it's believed two more Americans could be held. Tonight, what President Obama is now saying as we show you those new clues. And we lead off with ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross. The urgent search for the remaining two U.S. and other Western hostages is being carried out by spy planes and satellites over the ISIS stronghold of the Syrian city of Raqqa. This is where U.S. officials believe ISIS staged its barbaric murders of journalist Stephen Sotloff and James Foley. Today, the president vowed ISIS will pay the price. We will not be intimidated. Their horrific acts only unite us as a country and stiffen our resolve to take the fight against these terrorists. The ISIS commander, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, and his key deputies are prime targets for the U.S. And so is the hooded British speaker seen in the hostage videos. I'm back, Obama. And others from ISIS not seen, but clearly part of the execution and video team. Those who make the mistake of harming Americans will learn that we will not forget and that our reach is long and that justice will be served. In the search for clues, some of the recent gruesome ISIS videos offer unintended leads. Here, the camera pans and briefly catches a glimpse of one of the ISIS camera operators and then another ISIS fighter, part of the all-important propaganda team that records and distributes the brutal videos. The act of communication that follows the act of violence is almost as important, if not more important, than the act of violence itself. Today, the family of Stephen Sotloff said they were privately grieving for their 31-year-old journalist son. A friend speaking for the family said Sotloff died as he lived, courageously. We will not allow our enemies to hold us hostage with the sole weapons they possess, fear. And now the goal is to find some way to save the remaining American and Western hostages. Special Forces veterans say even with ISIS terrorists on alert after the first unsuccessful hostage rescue mission, a second attempt by American Special Forces would be much more difficult, but David, they say not impossible. All right, Brian Ross starting us off tonight. Brian, thank you.